Hey guys, Ground Drill 602 coming to you guys today with a haul and first impressions on some products. It's mostly a haul, but first impressions because a lot of these products um, is sort of accumulated and I've had a chance to use some of them. So we're going to start with the face, just things that you wash the face with. And the first product that I'm going to show you guys is this Eucerin, um, Eucerin brand hydrating cleanser. If you guys can see that. And um, it hydrates and cleanses so 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 i usually use this in conjunction with like a um exfoliator or something along those lines because it's just not cleansing enough for my preference um but it does hydrate and it does clean like halfway so it does do some cleaning um the next thing that i'm going to show you guys um i've been having sort of just weird skin issues and whenever i have weird skin issues and i don't really know how to remedy it i always go back to go back to proactive so i decided to give the new proactive plus products a try um i i usually use just the regular proactive products and these are pretty small that was one thing i wanted to show you guys when i got it because look how small it is um in my hand and i know the other ones are a little bit longer uh actually i have something right here comes in a something about this size or bigger so um yeah and it's 29 dollars for the proactive plus instead of the 19.99 or whatever it is but anyway um also i've been trying to hydrate like obviously with the cleanser hydrate my skin so i've been trying different moisturizers this one is um the simple nourishing moisturizer it comes in a package like that um it's for day and night it works it's a good product it moisturizes okay so it doesn't do a bad job it's not like you put it on and you're gonna feel dry you're not gonna feel dry but it doesn't like hydrate like my skin is really really thirsty and this just does okay so it's good in the morning underneath my makeup but not so much at night to to give me a good soaking um so i use that product in the morning one product I was pleasantly surprised with, um, it is a Proactive Plus product. It came in my kit, and this one is the, what does it say? Complexion Perfecting Hydrator. Love this product. Was really, really surprised with it. Usually, I love the cleanser most from Proactive, and the, the uh, moisturizer is so-so, but in the Proactive Plus, they've stepped up their game, and this moisturizer is actually really, really great. Um, one also that just surprised me, I've never used an oil on my face. I've been an oily girl. That just was something that was always seemed gross to me. But with my skin being so thirsty, I did decide to try oil. And this is something along the lines of the Maracuja oil. But this is the Glow Renewal H Perfect by L'Oreal Paris. I love the packaging. I love the product. It comes in a little dropper. You use about five drops on your skin. And this is what gives me that overnight soaking Douse my skin in goodness. It wakes up. It's glowy. It is hydrated. I'm still having a little bit of problem on each side of my mouth. But other than that, this product has just floor, floored me. It's like 22 bucks, and I got mine from Walgreens. Um, something else I'm going to mention, I guess we'll do a couple of face products, foundations. I am late to this bandwagon. Um, we're not even going to call it a bandwagon no more. I'm so late. But this is the covergirl queen collection that three in one that everybody was using way back when well uh i i think mine was on clearance i'm a clearance kind of girl from my um grocery store and i decided to try it my shade is almond glow it comes in this packaging like this and i really really love the coverage it gives i love the feel that it gives it doesn't dry me out it doesn't stick to my dry patches it doesn't make me look weird it's a great great color match so i really really love that and i think i want to say that's normally like 12.99 or 9.99 so yeah i picked up another face product that i've been using is the la girl pro bb cream i saw this on destiny godly's channel my shade is deep and it is um i like it i'm not gonna lie i actually really do like it where did i put it right here i like it i like the color match i like the um finish of it it is hydrating i i like it it's a good color match it's super super close some days i have to do a little more some days i don't but it's a good product and it's only 4.99 and i want to say i got it from i kate house another la girl product i have is the primer this is the pro prep primer this is like 6.99 i actually got this at the register at forever 21 and 
Um, I was on vacation and I just decided to pick it up. I like it. However, I didn't know that it was a mattifying primer and because it doesn't really say it, but this is a mattifying primer. And with the problems I've been having with hydration, I just kind of steer clear of it. Um, and, it, and it's snowing and super dry here. It's just not the time to be wearing that. And something else, which is just okay. I don't really see anything special about this. And I've seen so many videos where people rave about it. But this is the LA Girl Pro Prep um, Setting Spray. Okay. Like the $3 Mist and Set is actually kind of better than this. So, sorry. I just, I got it. I paid like $6.99 for it. I got that on vacation too, and it's just not anything to write home about. A product that I ordered off of IK House is the, I saw a video, so one was raving about it. Um, the LA Girl Pro Powder. It's the translucent. It's white. Um, it doesn't look bad on the face. It doesn't give a white cast. But I guess I didn't really realize that anything white and translucent, because my Tarte Smooth Operator does the same thing, um, and my eyes lips face one does um is that it gives you a white cast in pictures i guess this is not good for flashback so i will never wear a white translucent powder because i take a million freaking selfies i'm a selfie fanatic so i would never use that i would never use this i have no reason to use it that's how i feel about that i guess it kind of took a downturn but let's go up with everything on this table that i absolutely love Two illuminating products. One is super new and it's from NYX. It is in the shade, what shade is this? Sun Goddess. There's two little brown ones, two new brown ones, and I love this one. It, I actually swatched it already. It's this right here, which is sort of a bronzy glow. What this looks like on my skin is like I have just been in the sun playing around and I put it on my nose and the high points of my cheeks and it's like deep and glowy and it just looks like I've kind of been laying on the beach all day this one is um actually the one that i'm wearing today and it it gives a little more sheen it's this one right here and it's just a really good illuminator it just illuminates it has a little more glitter in it so mm, but that highlight though i'm sorry i couldn't help myself so yeah those two products this one i got on clearance for like three bucks the next one was like buy one get one but i want to say it's like 7.99 regular hopefully i'm right um, a couple other NYX products that I got that I love is the NYX um, Matte Liquid Liner. I especially love this product because of the brush. It's just a great applicator. I love it. It's like the NYC Liquid Liner. Um, why do I keep scooting into the camera? Um, it's like the NYC Liquid Liner, but it's easier for me to use. I like this one better. I never really was a fan of that one and is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Um, also, a super surprising product is this NYX. It's from the Noir Collection. It's a powder eyeliner. Powder eyeliner. This, it comes in this packaging. It, see, it's swatched right here. I've already swatched it. And it, it's, in, it's intense. It's a nice intense black line. And yet, it's like still kind of smoky. And it just gives you this soft beautiful deep arabic sort of look to your eyes and i use this a lot for weekdays when i go to the office it's just really really office appropriate i love it um two things i'm gonna mention oh one more nyx product i found transylvania if you are a diehard youtuber a diehard you know youtuber women of color youtuber you will know two nyx soft matte lip creams are cult favorites one is copenhagen i found that one like nine months ago maybe a year ago and it took me until right now to find transylvania it is actually this swatch here so it's a little more purple than transylvania transylvania has a little more red in it um, it's really nice. I wish I would have worn it or could have worn it today, but I didn't feel that it went with these eyes, but I do love it and I'm happy that I found it. And it just makes you want to just do a liner lashes look with just this lippy as the stage. Um, that's the look I envision in my head and I'm going to do that. So two products I'm going to mention are, um, gel shine. Gel shines are really popular and to do gel shines like without the UV lamp is really popular. Sinful Colors has been my ride or die. You guys know I love Sinful Nail Colors and um, they have their own two-step system. So step one as you guys can see on the label is whatever color you choose and step two is the gel shine. So this one can be used over and over. Deciding to just try it. It's my first time I put it on my nails today. So I just got one color. This is the color that I purchased and it is in hot shine like hot like hot look but 
hot shine and I am just you know I'm wearing it I haven't had color on my nails for a while so I'm like super juiced anyway just to have color and then a product that has just changed okay game changer game changer is the Garnier Skin Active Micellular Cleansing Water. I love this product. You guys, I love this product. It is like water. It is great. I didn't get the waterproof one. The one with the blue lid has waterproof. It's just you put it on a cotton pad, you wipe your face off, and it takes all of your makeup off, like waterproof and all. And um, it doesn't dry your skin out, which I've been having problems with that. So this has been a godsend. I hope they never ever discontinue this product it has just totally changed my taking my makeup off game um let's see what else do i have to mention just really quickly because i'm already at 10 minutes i finally got on the bandwagon for the black radiant soft skin focus mine is in the shade creamy bronze i love it i'm wearing it under my eyes today i really really love it look how much you get and it's really nice and powdery. It lasts all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't look terrible. I can use it over my face, but I haven't been setting because I'm really, really dry. Um, we are just going to... Uh, I got a set over the holidays of Urban Decay liners. And I don't even remember the other two or four. There were four maybe in there. But the um, Urban Decay Perversion was in there that black is that is the best i don't i'm paying 20 dollars for this pencil every time i'm not using anything else this is not like anything else actually i'm lying it's kind of like the milani liquify except for the liquify six to contacts and i'm a contact lens wear so if you're not a contact lens wear try the milani liquify because it's just so black and creamy like that i love it and you can smoke it out and it's just fancy it's, it's, i love it it's my favorite i will pay the money pay the money and then um, a couple of brushes that I have just been loving. Okay, Wet n Wild came out with some brushes, y'all. Pink tip. <coughs> Excuse me. And they have this little divot in the brush handle for you to pick, um, hold it with. Love this. Wish I would have got more, but um, my Walgreens didn't have many. Sorry, guys. Um, so I only picked up the eyeshadow brush and yeah, loving it so far. Kind of want to get more, but do I really need more brushes as I ordered one off eBay today? And the last brush that I'm going to show you guys it was surprisingly really, really good. Um, Real Techniques was buy one, get one free. I needed a new sponge, Miracle Complexion sponge. So I decided to try this brush because the face brush was sold out. Um, powder brush was sold out so this is the setting brush and I did use it today and I am very surprised by it I'm actually not surprised because real techniques is great but this brush is really really good so <coughs> excuse me guys that is my haul and first impressions on all those things if you have any questions about anything that I didn't mention like my crochet braid here um go ahead and hit the comments down below and I'll get back to you until next time guys stay beautiful peace YouTube